another free workplace assessment today. Welcome, I'm Olivier Girard, ergonomist, posture therapist, author of the Posture Manual and creator of the Posture Academy. Dima has kindly sent me some pictures of his, one picture of his, and he asked me for advice. There are many things that he does super well, and there's one thing that is less right, and that's we're gonna, what we're going to discuss today. You see, on my YouTube channel, you will not find much about the fact that the feet are under the chair. There's only one place where you'll find some information on that, which is on my very much debated video on kneeling chairs, which I link here or there, don't know. Okay, look, now let's do the experiment all together. You see, we're gonna reproduce Dima's position, but apart, we will not be against the backrest, we'll be far away from the backrest. The goal being to leave the pelvis move by itself to understand what it does. So you sit here and you put your feet under the chair. And what do you feel? You feel that you want to hollow your back, which is the opposite of what happens if your feet are far forward, which makes you slouch. Welcome to posture rule number, let's call it five, which would be the rule of balance. If you put something forward, something else goes backward so that your center of gravity stays in the middle. If you put something, something backwards, well, something else goes forward. All right? In that case, why does Dima put the ah, feet <laughs> on the casters? Well, probably because exactly like, I, what, uh, like what I just tried to do, the chair is too high. Therefore, he has no contact with the ground and he would tend to slouch. Yeah? To avoid that slouching, he tries to find some stability on the casters of the chair, but the effect of that is a strain in the lower back that, you know, guides it into a hollow direction. This is something that you can detect in another place. If you look at the forearm of Dima, you see that there's a slight uh, pressure point under the forearm here, which is a sign that the desk is too high. So my opinion is that as the desk of Dima is super high, he did his best by raising the chair to kind of bring the elbow almost at the height of the desk, but he found himself without anything under his feet. So he put his feet where he can, i.e. on the casters of the chair, all right? What are better alternatives? Better alternatives are, number one, cut the legs of the desk in such a way that, you know, your keyboard can be at the height of your elbow when your feet are firmly on the ground. Option number two, you like your table, you don't want to cut its feet. In that case, you raise the chair in such a way that the pressure point, which I'm going to create here, disappears. Yeah i.e. your table is at elbow height and then you put a footrest. Which footrest? Well, have a look at the video here or here um, on which I explain the difference between the different type of footrests. But bear in mind the footrest has to be big, flat and horizontal. Why? Because its job is to replace the floor which has exactly the same properties. This being said, I'm very happy about the fact that Dima does his best to really sit at the back of the chair so as to support his pelvis. And I have some minor doubt on the height of the screen. You know, the height of the screen is always difficult to evaluate uh, when you take a picture because it depends on the height of the cam with respect to the desk and all that. So just make sure, Dima, that the top of the screen is around 10 degrees below your line of sight. I think it deserves to be three, four centimeters lower, but that's not your main issue. Your main issue is that. For the rest, you're doing super well. Congrats for that. <music>